the aim of the study is to understand how their baseline immune response induced by that first infection may protect them against reinfection, may protect them against that subsequent infection. This will allow us to understand more about how the immune response protects against this virus. It will allow us to therefore understand who is protected based on their immune response, and it will allow us to develop better vaccine. Now, looking in the release, I understand that the virus that it will be used in the study will be the original strain from Wuhan, China. But of course, we're now dealing with variants that have emerged from South Africa, Brazil, the UK, just to name a few. Um, therefore, it, wouldn't it be more useful to look at immunity from natural infection and, and how useful that immunity is in protecting against these new variants? It's a really good question. To start with in this study, we will be using the original Wuhan strain, as you say, and I think that's really important because that's the strain we have most clinical knowledge about. It's the strain we have most virological and immunological knowledge about. And to start with, we have to first demonstrate that this model is safe. There are discussions underway. We're working very closely with Imperial College, who have a parallel study using a, a controlled human infection model, and we're using the same viral strain as they are. And there are discussions underway about the manufacture of a second virus to GMP, to the grade that we need to, to test things and to use things in humans, that will be one of the new variants. But that was so we could so we could potentially see the trial expanded in the future to look at new variants. Exactly. So that won't be part of the first study where we'll be looking primarily at safety and also determining the right dose of virus to give. But it may well be part of subsequent studies. Absolutely.